De Havilland began work on the HS-121 Trident as a short to medium haul airliner in the late 1950s. After a merger in 1960, this work was carried on by Hawker Siddeley, producing a unique aircraft with three rear-mounted engines beneath a high T-shaped tail. After initial interest in the 1A variant from American Airlines fell through, production focused on the 1C variant for British European Airways, powered by Rolls-Royce Spey jet engines. Afterburning versions of these engines also powered the McDonnell Douglas F4 Phantom on display at the Solway Aviation Museum. 24 1C variants were built. These were heavily outnumbered by later variants with improved performance and range, notably the 2E. Eventually, close to 120 Tridents were built, over a quarter of which saw service in China. One significant claim to fame for the Trident is its pioneering role in the introduction of auto landing systems on commercial airliners, with the Smiths Aircraft Industries Auto Land System, which allowed for operations in zero visibility conditions. Golf Alfa Romeo Papa Papa, known simply as Papa Papa, was built at Hatfield in 1965 and served with British European Airways and subsequently British Airways until 1983. Early in its service, Papa Papa took part in the first production trials of the auto land system and in 1967 may have taken part in the first duplex auto land landing at Heathrow Airport. In 2004, having spent some years being used as a fire training aircraft at Glasgow Airport, Papa Papa was broken up for scrap, leaving intact only the cockpit section that visitors to Solway Aviation Museum can see today. We acquired Papa Papa from the Dumfries and Galloway Aviation Museum in 2009 in a swap for some English Electric Canberra spare parts. <laughs>